Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another crochet stitch. This is a Tunisian crochet stitch. It's very much like the basic Tunisian crochet, also known as Tunisian simple stitch, also known as the Afghan stitch. I have a video for the basic and I'll uh, put that down below and also on the end screen. This is a lot like it except we just do one different little thing which I'm about to show you and it is a looser stitch and way less curly. I mean I didn't block this or press it or anything. Regular basic Tunisian crochet you know it, it curls up like that but this is a, a little bit looser. I think you're going to like it. I was able to work this on a regular crochet hook. I did 12 stitches across. I would not want to do more than that on a regular hook. You can get long Tunisian crochet hooks and also hooks with a, a coil at the end. You can make an entire afghan on those coiled hooks. What I love about making an afghan with a Tunisian stitch is that you never have to flip the afghan over. You're always working on the front of it. You know, after you get, you know, halfway through an afghan, it's heavy and cumbersome to flip that every time you need to go back in the other direction. Well, you never have to do that on this. So let's just get started. You can make a chain any length you want. For the video, I'm going to chain six. And I have basic crochet instructions for things like the chain also. Oh, one, two, And you can work in this stitch to pull up your, you know, to pull your yarn through if you want. I like to work on the back under those bumps. Now, normally for the basic stitch, we go in and pull through. Go in and pull through. But what we're going to do differently this time, and I'll show you by using these stitches, because that's what most people use, you're going to yarn over go in, pull through. Yarn over, go in, pull through. Yarn over, go in, pull through. Whoops. So we're creating a whole bunch more loops on our hook, but we're going to take care of that shortly. But I'm going to work in that bump in the back. So I'm going to yarn over under the bump, pull through. Yarn over, under the bump, pull through. And I'm just going to do that to the end, and you would just do it all the way across for as many stitches as you wanted. For regular Tunisian crochet, or the simple stitch, or the basic stitch, we always yarn over and go through just one, and then through two, through two, through two, all the way to the end. What we're going to do this time is we're going to yarn over and go through two. Now yarn over and go through three and three. Yarn over, go through three. All the way till the end through three, but then your very last stitch is always going to be through two. So you start by going through two and you end by going through two. Every row is the same. So let's start row number two. Before we do, now you can see that our vertical bars look different. We have double bars and, you know, they want to be slanted a little bit. We're going to work in that second vertical bar. See there's a little group here of bars? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and this very end stitch is number two. So we're going to go under the second one and it gets easier after the first row. So we're going to yarn over, we're going under the second vertical bar, pull through, leave everything there. Yarn over, our next little group, go under the second vertical bar, pull through. Yarn over, under the second vertical bar, pull through. Yarn over, second vertical bar, pull through. And then at the end, it can get a little confusing, but we see there's one little vertical bar there, but we want this guy right at the end. So we're going to yarn over, and we're going under here, whoops, pull through. 
Now we're going to do our return. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through three, all the way, always through three, until you get to the end, through three, until you get to the very end where you only have two left. Let's do one more row, and then I'll show you how to cast off. Well, I'll probably do a couple rows. So yarn over under the second vertical bar, pull through. Yarn over, second vertical bar, pull through. Yarn over, second vertical bar, <laughs> pull through. Yarn over, second vertical bar, pull through. And then at the end, you're going to start to see that, you know, it's got like a loop there. It gets hard to see which one you're supposed to go in. But just follow this chain. There's the chain hole there, so you want this guy right there. It's just that last stitch on the edge. When you're doing it, oops, I have to yarn over. And then go under there and pull through. When you're doing it, you'll get the hang of it. You'll get to recognize it. The return is the same. Yarn over, pull through two, and then three, and then three, and then three, one, two, three, and then three, and you end with two. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to make it a little bit taller off camera, and then I'll show you how I finish. Okay, this is tall enough. I just wanted to show you how I'm going to uh, cast off and then finish this one edge. You can see that this edge is nice. We have like a chain going on. We have a chain going on. We're about to have a chain going on at the top and then to finish we're just going to chain down this side. So to do your very final row, you're still going to yarn over. You're going to go under your second vertical bar, pull through, but now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So it's like you're doing a half double crochet under the vertical bar. So let's do the next one. Yarn over, under the vertical bar, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, under the vertical bar, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. You can see that, you know, if you get confused, once you start going, you can see which vertical bar you want because you want it to continue in this row or column, I should say. So you know it's this guy. You know, they just all connect. So yarn over, go under, pull through, pull through all three. Yarn over, and now here's our last one. It's on the edge. Pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now I'm just going to chain one. And I'm just going to do a slip stitch in each of these holes. So I go in, and I'm just going to pull through both. Go in, pull through both. Go in, pull through both. All the way down. And you can do one more in that very last one if you want. And you have a nice finished block. And seriously, if you made a whole afghan this way, you wouldn't have to finish it any more than that. It's a really good block to make in a patchwork afghan because it, you're, it, the border is all there for you. So I really like it. And like I said, there's not anywhere near the amount of curl as there is when you do the uh, Tunisian simple stitch or basic stitch or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's also good for dishcloths. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future crocheted blocks or whatever else I come up with. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!